Once upon a time, in a small village in Nigeria, a little girl was born. Her name was Amara. Amara was special because she had beautiful colored eyes. They were not like the eyes of other babies. Her eyes were bright and shiny, like the colors of a rainbow. When Amara's parents saw her eyes, they became very afraid. They had never seen anything like it before. They thought it was strange and didn't know what to do. They whispered to each other, what if something is wrong with our baby? Please subscribe to the channel for more captivating and interactive African reality stories. The people in the village also saw Amara's colored eyes. They started calling her names like strange eyes and rainbow girl they pointed at her and laughed. This made Amara very sad. She didn't understand why everyone was being mean to her. As Amara grew older, she tried to make friends, but the other children ran away from her. They were scared of her colored eyes. Amara felt very lonely. She wished she could be like the other children so they would play with her. Please drop your comments on what you think about Amara. Thank you. One day, a big storm came to the village. The wind was very strong and the rain was heavy. The storm broke many houses and trees. The villagers were scared and didn't know what to do. They needed help, but nobody knew how to stop the storm. Amara saw the villagers crying and felt sad for them. Even though they were mean to her, she wanted to help. She went outside and looked up at the dark clouds with her bright, colored eyes. Something magical happened. Her eyes started to glow even more brightly and the clouds began to move away. The storm stopped and the sun came out again. The villagers were amazed. They couldn't believe what they saw. Amara, the girl they called names, had saved them. They realized that her colored eyes were not something to be afraid of, but something special and wonderful. The villagers gathered around Amara and thanked her. They were sorry for being mean to her. They promised to never call her names again. Amara felt happy and loved. She knew that she was special just the way she was. But this is not the end of Amara's story. She still had many adventures to come. Every day she used her special eyes to help the village in different ways. The villagers now saw Amara as their hero and they loved her very much. And so Amara's journey continued with her bright colored eyes leading the way. As time went by, Amara became even more loved by the villagers. She used her special eyes to help them find lost animals, fix broken things, and even grow more food. Everyone in the village knew that Amara was a blessing. One day, a traveler came to the village. He was a wise old man with a long white beard. He heard about Amara and her special eyes and wanted to see her for himself. The villagers welcomed him and told him all about the wonderful things Amara had done. The old man smiled and said, Amara, you are indeed special. Your eyes are a gift and I have come to teach you how to use them even better. Amara was excited. She wanted to learn more so she could help her village more. The old man and Amara spent many days together. He taught her how to see things that others could not see. She could now find water under the ground, see if someone was sick before they felt it, and even understand the language of the animals. One evening, the village chief called a big meeting. He wanted everyone to hear what the old man had to say. The chief spoke, Amara has always been special to us, but now she has learned even more ways to help. We must protect her and cherish her. The old man then told the villagers, Amara's eyes are a sign of great wisdom and power. She will lead this village to greatness. But remember, you must always be kind and loving to everyone, for you never know what special gifts they might have. The villagers promised to always be kind. They built a special hut for Amara and the old man so they could continue their lessons in peace. Every day more people came to learn from Amara. She taught them how to live in harmony with nature and with each other. One night, as Amara was looking at the stars, she saw something amazing. A bright light was coming from the sky, heading towards the village. She knew it was a sign of something important. Amara called the villagers and told them about the light. Together, they watched as the light came closer and closer. When it finally reached the village, they saw that it was a beautiful, blowing bird. 
The bird had feathers that shone with all the colors of the rainbow, just like Amara's eyes. The bird spoke in a soft, musical voice, Amara, you are chosen to be the guardian of this village. Your eyes are a sign of your pure heart and great courage. I am here to help you and the villagers. The villagers were amazed and filled with joy. They knew that with Amara and the magical bird, their village would always be safe and happy. Amara hugged the bird and said, thank you for coming. Together we will make this village a place of love and kindness. And so Amara, the girl with the colored eyes, continued to be a hero. With the wise old man and the magical bird by her side, she brought peace and happiness to her village. The villagers never called her names again. Instead, they called her their protector and friend. But this is still not the end of Amara's story. There were more adventures waiting for her, and she was ready for them with her bright, colored eyes leading the way. Amara's days were filled with joy and learning. With the wise old man and the magical bird, she discovered more about her special powers. Her colored eyes could see deep into the earth to find treasures and hidden secrets. The villagers loved listening to her stories and learning new things. One day, while Amara was playing by the river, she noticed something strange. The water was not as clear as it used to be. Fish were struggling to swim, and plants by the riverbank looked sad and droopy. Amara knew something was wrong. She called the villagers together and said, Our river is in trouble. We must find out why and help it. The wise old man nodded and said, This is an important task. Amara, your eyes will guide us. Amara, the old man, and the magical bird set off upstream to find the source of the problem. They walked through the forest over hills and finally reached a place where the water was blocked by big rocks and fallen trees. The river could not flow properly, and the water was dirty. Amara's eyes glowed brightly as she looked at the blockage. She saw that there was a hidden cave behind the rocks. She turned to the villagers who had followed them and said, We need to clear the way. There is something important in that cave. The villagers worked together, lifting rocks and clearing the fallen trees. It was hard work, but they didn't give up. Finally, the path was clear and the water began to flow again. The river sparkled and danced, happy to be free. Amara led the way into the cave. Inside, they found a beautiful underground spring. The water was pure and clear, glowing with a magical light. The magical bird spoke, This spring is the heart of your river. It will keep your village healthy and strong. Protect it well. The villagers were amazed. They knew this spring was a great treasure. They promised to take care of it and never let the river get blocked again. Amara felt proud and happy. She knew her eyes had once again helped her village. As they left the cave, Amara saw a tiny, colorful fish swimming in the spring. It had scales that shone like her eyes. The fish spoke to Amara, Thank you for saving our home. We will help you protect the river. From that day on, the fish in the river were always there to help the villagers. They kept the water clean and warned the villagers if something was wrong. The village flourished and the people were happy. Amara's adventures continued, each one bringing new wonders and joys. She knew that as long as she had her special eyes and the love of her village, she could face any challenge. 